Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to get straight to the point. So I'm going to tell you about the new age movement and a caution about it. So this is also my testimony. So just keep watching. So these past few weeks, I've been really getting closer to God. I've been really reading the Bible like fully. I've been reading daily verses. Um, devotional like all of those I've been writing letters to God I've been trying to build a closer relationship with God and it's been a really nice time I'll be honest I wasn't as close to him before as I was now so I'm really happy to be closer to God but I'll start with this. I used to have tarot. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Tarot cards. I used to have it. I bought it from Five Below and I regret it. I regret it so much because why would I need cards to tell me my future when God already has a plan for me? God already has a plan for everyone he made because they humans were made in God's image so why was I looking at cards to determine like like oh does my crush like me back or oh blah, 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 all about those love whatever cuz I'll admit I was boy crazy before now I'm not thank goodness because that's no that's horrible that's so horrible anyway <laughs> um yeah I got I use tarot cards to see if like the guy I like really like me and like that was really wrong because in the first place I should have been doing or I already did a lot for them never mind <laughs> I should have seen what was going on and I should have used my intuition and also ask for God's help ask him what I should do you know but instead I used like cards to predict my future so I still have them I don't know what I'm going to do with them I'm not using them I haven't used them since like more than a year ago I haven't used it at all so I also have another tarot deck unfortunately and yeah I don't know what to do with that either and so So, I bought a Bible a few weeks ago. This is the Bible. And I started writing in it. Oh. I got it October 22nd, 2020. And I'm so glad I did. Because I really desired to read a new book. Because I was running out of books to read. And my... Yeah, I was running out of books to read. And one time we went to the mall... I swear this is just one time I swear the other times I've stayed home I I'm even home alone now okay so I decided to buy this God help me to pick out this book and I started writing in it I only wrote on the first page in Genesis but I got uncomfortable because I don't like writing in books. I don't even like writing in my school books that I bought myself. I don't like it. So I used, as you all can see in my journal haul, I used this notebook to write my notes instead of writing on the actual Bible. So I have these side by side. And yeah, I just like wrote some stuff. I'm not far in, but I'm getting there, and I'm so happy. Over these past few weeks, when I started spending more time with God, I've been feeling more lighter. I remember when I was spiritually, like, awakening, a bit uncomfortable. But with God, I feel free. I feel comfortable. I feel relaxed for once. And... Every day I'm so grateful 
to be here on this earth and yeah I'm just really happy and thankful in the new age movement they care about the environment so they focus on environmentalism so it's good that it's that movement is like helping the environment it's good but like shouldn't shouldn't we all help the environment no matter like what our religion is or whatever no matter what we believe in like shouldn't shouldn't we care either way because we live on this earth so it's, it's our responsibility to care for it i don't know maybe it's just me so the definition of new age i looked this up a long time ago um according to dictionary yeah the dictionary online <laughs> um the oxford languages it is a broad movement characterized by alternative approaches to traditional western culture with an interest in spirituality mysticism holism and environmentalism so also in new age beliefs it includes the belief of reincarnation astrology psychics and the presence of spiritual energy in physical objects like mountains or trees so just a disclaimer for like my past past like videos i re i still incorporated god into it so i wasn't just saying oh just the universe i'm i was also talking about god so yeah but i was I was little I was a little lost back then when I was doing it those videos because I wasn't focusing on God that much so now that I am and have been I'm I'm just really at peace and I'm so getting all and I'm so thankful <laughs> anyway my experience on spirit guides I've never called my spirit guide because first I think that's for me okay for me it's kind of weird and kind of scary because <laughs> like I don't know I feel like God already helps us why are we calling spirits to us and I get like some people think it's their relative or like a close friend or like that someone close to them or you know like that but for me like for me my relatives i hope and i believe that they're in heaven so whenever people try to like oh how to like get your spirit guide to help you or how to contact i'm like oh no thanks <laughs> no thanks because i'm scared of that and i'm scared of calling anything spiritual into my life like entities because yeah that's not i get scared of like horror movies like i have nightmares if i watch even one scene of a horror movie like i get really scared i get nightmares it really gets to me so i've never summoned anything i've never done that thing and i'm glad and happy i didn't for alternative medicine i believe in that I really believe that we were naturally, well, duh, we were, we just got on this earth because God made us. And so they didn't have like those high tech medicines back then, of course, they didn't have any of those. They just ate fruits and like all of that stuff. But anyway, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into further because I can't, yeah, I can't explain while I'm so sorry. Because I have a hard time speaking, as you can tell with all my videos. Okay. For me, time is non-existent, in my opinion. I don't really care about time because I just don't believe in it. I don't like the concept of it. I don't like... Because it, it really has to do with society, and I don't like society, so... <laughs> yeah. 
we're I feel like we're more than just like getting on time and being there on time and like oh we're like we're more than that so we should really stop focusing on that okay so reincarnation um I don't yeah I don't know about that because according to the bible that's that's not true so because we go to heaven or the other place once we pass away so for astrology i find it interesting how astrology uses the stars and all that and for me it's nice to like kind of look up descriptions like just like for fun you know like oh like that's right or whatever that's good but destiny and fate it's it all goes back to god no matter how much we decide to predict our future no matter how much we try to like depend on the universe for me, God is the essence of it all. All of the answers come from Him. And I feel like people who were Christians when they're young are going to New Age movement. They're leaving God. They're leaving their beliefs behind. And I'm just sad. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for the background noise. I hope that this can at least help some people i hope it can reach at least someone or help at least some people because if you're feeling alone just know that i'm here for you and of course god is here for you and you'll be all right in the end and you don't need psychics or tarot or any of that to make you feel important because you already are important you're important to someone you're important overall and you're so powerful and i hope that you know how amazing and positive and just incredible you all are you all have a life purpose and you can achieve <clears throat> whatever you desire to and i hope you all know that and realize that and remember it for forever <laughs> or you know just keep knowing that please yeah i hope this at least helped some of you going back to god really made me more relaxed more made me more at peace more at home and made me realize that i don't need to know my future through psychics or whatever i don't need to call on my spirit guides i don't need to you to to do any of those stuff I just need to keep having faith in God and to keep trusting Him, believing Him, and loving Him. And just, I just need to live my best life. And I hope you all are living your best lives. And I'm sorry for the background noise again. And I hope you all are doing really great. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like and comment if you'd like and i'll see y'all in the next video you are loved so much and just stay safe bye